All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to show you how to multiply two matrices together. And you will see it's not that bad. It just results to taking a bunch of dot products. So let's calculate AB. You'll see it's as easy as ABC. AB where A is 102 minus 101 and B is 201134. All right. Before you calculate the uh, um, AB, you need to check one thing. And you don't even actually need to check it because you'll see in a second it becomes kind of natural. You need to make sure that the number of columns of A equals to the number of rows of B. So if A is n by n, then B needs to be n by something. All right, that's first of all. Second of all, let's figure out the size of AB. So AB in this case is 102 minus 101 times 213014. The question is, what is the size of the matrix AB? Well, it turns out there's a nice mnemonic. So if A is m by n and B is n by p, then all you need to do is cancel out the n and you get m by p. So AB will be of size m by p. In this case, what is this? So A is 2 by 3 and B is 3 by 2. If you cancel that out, you get AB will be 2 by 2. So at the end, it will just have a 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, now, how do you do this? Again, it has to do with dot products. Let me just remind you what the dot product is. So 1, 2, 3, dotted with 1, 0, 1, and you'll see why I write this in a second. It's just 1 times 1, plus 2 times 0, plus 3 times 1. You take the products of each entry, and you just sum them up. And in the end, you should get 4. Okay, as I said, matrix multiplication is just a bunch of dot products. You take the first row and the first column, and you dot them. So let's see. And this gives you the first entry of A, B. Well, let's see what happens if you dot 102 with 213. It's very similar to this one. So it's 1 times 2 plus 0 times 1 plus 2 times 3. So 2 plus 6 becomes 8. So the first entry will be 8. Now, the question is, what do you do next? It should remind you a lot, like foiling out. You keep the first row. But this time, you move on to the second column. So what you do next is you dot the first row with the second column. So in other words, you calculate 102 dotted with 014. And if you do that, 1 times 0 is 0, plus 0 times 1, which is 0, 2 times 4, that's 8. If you had a bigger matrix, you would move on to the next column. But what's happening here, well, we ran out of columns. So what you do, because you ran out of columns, you move on to the second row and you repeat that spiel again. So now let's go to the second row. Like that. Second row and first column. And you dot, so minus 1 times 2, it's minus 2. Maybe let me write that down. So a minus 1, 0, 1, dotted with 2, 1, 3. So minus 2 plus 0 plus 3, that becomes 1. And lastly, you just move over and you do the sec first, second row and the second column. And you dot minus 1, 0, 1 with 0, 1, 4. 
which should give you 0, 0, and 4. And ta-da! This is your matrix A and B. And in future videos, I'll do more examples, and we'll see, for example, that AB is not BA. One remark, though, before I end. Remember I told you you need to check that the number of columns of A equals the number of rows? Well, you, in theory, you don't even have to check it because you'll see something weird will happen if you multiply those two matrices. Because let's say you multiply the matrices 1, 2, 3, 4 with the matrix 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, the way you would do this, you would take the first row and the fir first row of A in the first, first column of B, well, if you dot them, you can't. You can't dot a vector of size 2 with a vector of size 3. It's not possible. So that's why in this case, AB isn't even defined. So if the number of columns of A is not equal to the number of rows of B, you can't even define AB. All right, and that's all I wanted to say. So if you like this and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.